Hey everyone, welcome to the 27th Easy Excel tutorial part of EasyProgramming.net. Today I introduce to you VLOOKUP. VLOOKUP is a very popular lookup function that allows you to find things in a table or a range depending on your criteria. Uh, it's a left to right lookup, which means that the value you're looking at should be at the very left and the value you're looking to extract should be in a column to its right. Uh, this means that the spreadsheets will need to be formatted for such a lookup. Uh, what you see in front of you is exactly that kind of format. It's formatted so that I can look at a value to the left, I'll be using this table here, and extract a value to the right, just this one. I'm only using two columns, but your spreadsheets can use three, four, five, to however many columns Excel allows. To do a right to left lookup, you'll need another type of lookup function, and we'll cover the index match function in tutorial number 29. Um, there are two ways of doing a VLOOKUP function. Uh, they are approximate and exact and I have these worksheets set up and I'll cover the VLOOKUP, the approximate VLOOKUP first. What you see in front of you is an example of what approximate VLOOKUP, of where approximate VLOOKUP comes in handy. Uh, as the name suggests, the answer will depend on the value you're looking up. It doesn't have to be exact, just approximate. Uh, in this example we have uh, list of people, I have 30 names here, along with their income, and the goal is to find out what their tax rate is. On the right side here, we have a tax table. Uh, just to note that this is not exactly how tax rates work. Uh, there are layers in the tax code that you need to look at, but I'm, I'm just generalizing and simplifying it just for this one example. Uh, when we look at John Doe here, his income is 53,164. Just by looking at this table, we know that his tax level will be 25% because it falls between 37,451 and 90,751. I actually got these values from uh, the web. So let's get started. As with any function, we start the VLOOKUP function using the equal sign, and once you type in VL, it's the first, it's the one and only option for this table. Uh, the description here tells you it looks for a value in the leftmost column of a table and then returns a value in the same row from a column you specify. But the, by default, the table must be sorted in ascending order. That part is not true. Uh, it doesn't have to be sorting order. Uh, but anyway, let's do VLOOKUP. We want to look up the, it accepts four parameters, the lookup value, the table array, the column index number, and an optional and an optional fourth parameter called range lookup, and that controls whether it's an approximate or an exact lookup. So the lookup value we're looking for is this income, the 53,164, so we'll select B2, comma, the table array we're looking at. Now this is the table you're looking at to extract the data from. So we're going to select this little table here from F2 to G8. Since we're using this little table here, we want to make sure that it's absolutely referenced. So we'll use, we'll click on F4 to apply the little dollar signs to tell Excel that we're looking at this absolutely. The next parameter is the column index number. I put the column headers here, I put numbers next to the column headers here on purpose. Uh, just to show you what number column they are. So income level is column 1 and tax is column 2. And they'll keep going, so 3, 4, 5, etc. Uh, in programming languages, most things have an index of 0, but when we're looking at VLOOKUP here in Excel, it's only, it's, it's indexed uh, from 1. So the column we want to extract the data from is 2, comma. Now the fourth uh, parameter here, it gives you a little uh, preview here, it says true or false. Uh, by default, it's true, so you don't need this option, like I said, it's optional. Uh, you can enter true, you can enter 1, which means true, or 0, which means false, but for now I'm going to just leave it blank and say I only want to use the three mandatory parameters and I press enter and there you go it's 25 percent we can verify it with our eyes right I'm just gonna go a couple more uh, we look at Jane Doe 8741 uh, we know that this is between 1 and 9 20, 26 so it'll be 10 percent and Agent Smith is 58 so it'll also be 25 percent if we go all the way down to 105 Scott Summers is making 105,000 so that's 28 so percent I'm just gonna autofill all the way down and there we go 
You can double check me if you want, but they are pretty accurate. We can look at Howard Stark here, you know, uh, and 39.6%. He's at the very top. He's only beating it by one, right? So this is approximate. If it falls above a certain value, but not go over the next value in a table, that's what that well, that's what it'll extract. So taxes are uh, are a decent example of where you, you would be using approximate uh, lookup. Uh, the next example I'm going to show you is the VLOOKUP exact lookup. So there are certain scenarios where you would need the exact lookup as well. Uh, what you see in front of you is uh, is a little bit different. I'm using the same names as before, 30 names, and there are 30 person IDs. Uh, so we're going to extract the name from this table here into this table here. So we have I extracted 10 random. Uh, person IDs here. Uh, I call them troublemaker IDs. Maybe you want to extract them to make sure you know and find out the names of the people who are causing trouble at your work. And we want to make sure that it's an exact lookup, right? Because when you look at this number, I can see that it's Jane Doe, uh, but it has to be exact. It, there is no approximate in this example. If you get an approximate Excel, it won't throw an error, but it'll give you the incorrect value. And I'll show you that now. V lookup, the lookup value is here, comma, the table array, I'm going to go all the way down again, F4 to make sure it's absolutely referenced, comma, the column index number, we're again looking at uh, number two, column number two, and I'm going to do an approximate lookup. I'm not going to say anything, I'm not going to say true, I'm not going to say one, I'm just going to leave that blank, because by default, V lookup uh, does an approximate lookup. So we'll do comma, and it says Harry Osborne. Where is Harry? He is here. So 378291. Look at it up here, and 451236. They're way off, right? Why? Mm, uh, it's probably because this is the next closest number to this without going over. It doesn't make sense, right? So what we would want to do is edit the formula and type in. You can select it and click false. Yeah, Excel 2013 has been glitching on me, so for some reason, so the false doesn't show up. So I'll just put in a zero here. So there you go. So I'm telling that, telling uh, Excel, telling this function to make sure it does an exact lookup. So if I go down a couple more, it says Rick Grimes 978. Let's see. 987. Rick Grimes, 987561. There we go. And Oliver Queen, 213589. See, this is where exact lookup comes in handy. As you saw, I had a little trouble looking for Rick Grimes. Uh, imagine this table, but with thousands of rows, and you have just a list of person IDs, and you want to find you know, who this belongs to. In a regular table, you may have more columns, including address, phone numbers, email addresses, etc. And you can extract the rest of the columns just by having one of those columns, one of those values. Well, this is the exact lookup, and this is the approximate lookup. They both have their use cases. You can use them. They're both pretty handy. Uh, I use VLOOKUP pretty often um, at work when I'm trying to extract something from one table to another. Uh, usually it's a SQL table and I need to have it in Excel format or something. Uh, the only drawback with VLOOKUP is that it's a left to right lookup. So for example, if I ha if I didn't have this column and I wanted to look up what jo Jane Doe's ID was, which is this, I wouldn't be able to do that left to right. Right to left, excuse me. It wouldn't work. For that, we would need index match, and you'll find out how to do that in tutorial 29. Uh, the next tutorial I will cover is the HLOOKUP. If you understand VLOOKUP, HLOOKUP is really easy. It's the exact same concept, almost exact same formula. It's just the V is the H. H means horizontal, V means vertical. And I'll do a quick tutorial next time. If you have any questions on VLOOKUP, on either approximate or exact, let me know. I would be more than happy to answer. If you want to see specific tutorials, please make suggestions in the comments below. I'm more than happy to look at suggestions and do tutorials based on your suggestions.
Well, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe and visit my website at easyprogramming.net.